Hi, my name is Grant, and thank you for watching the NX Series product video. Today we'll be discussing the speed control function of the NX Series AC servo motor. The NX Series has four selectable operation modes, positioning, control mode, speed control mode, torque control mode, and tension control mode. It has the ability to drive high inertia loads without the need for tuning. With auto-tune function, it can drive up to 50 times inertia ratio. With manual tuning, it can drive up to 100 times inertia ratio. It has a higher torque accuracy, um, rated at three times better than our previous model. It also has an absolute, uh, position, or absolute system available with optional battery pack. It has a high output, high precision planetary gear available with a backlash of three arc minutes and an angle error of four, arc, four minutes with direct mounting capability. It also has an auto motor recognition system. For 200 watt and below motors, it, they all, all the motors can automatically be recognized by the drive. So the 50, 100, and 200 watt all use the same type of driver therefore can potentially lower the amount of inventory needed to keep on hand. The system layout is shown before you. We will see the motor with the encoder connection cable, the power motor connection cable, digital I.O. port CN7 which would accept pulse and direction or on-off signals, analog port CN6 where you would send your 0 to 10 volt signal for systems such as speed control or torque control. To set extended functions or parameters you can use the OPX-28 digital operator or the MEXE02 software. It has provision for a regeneration unit and also again a battery pack to complete the absolute system. A closer look at the driver is shown here. Again, for the motor connection will be on CN2. The regeneration unit and power connection will be on CN3. We have a protective earth terminal. Battery connection at the bottom of the drive. Digital I.O. signals for CN7. Analog signals for CN6. The encoder connection on CN5. And then the control module connector for CN4 for the operator or the software. Here's a closer look at the top portion of the drive. The user can toggle between the different control modes via the SW1 switch. Depending on the configurations of pins 1 and 2 on that switch, you will switch between position, speed, torque, or tension control modes. On the right hand side, you'll see an, I, or an LED strip. The LED will indicate which control mode you are currently in along with a green power LED and a red alarm LED. The SW2 switch is used for the mechanical rigidity setting or auto tuning. This is true for speed control mode as well. To do, auto the, to do the auto tune function, you will need to use the SW2 switch. The factory default setting is at six, which is medium rigidity. The internal potentiometer is VR1 and VR2. For speed control, VR1 sets the command, the, the analog speed command, where VR2 sets the, sets the acceleration, deacceleration time. TB1 is used for the control power in, as well as the signal for the regeneration unit for the thermal, as well as magnetic brake control on MB1 and MB2. For speed control mode, the user is primarily going to be looking at CN6 connection. As you can see, the unit can accept an analog signal of 0 to 10 volts. For the main input will be pin 1 and 2, where you would actually send your analog speed command input. We also send a reference output of the actual speed. This is true for torque input as well. as well as an analog output for the torque monitoring. For 
speed control mode, if you for your control system, block diagram may look something as shown. From your programmable controller, you can send information to a speed or power unit where you can send an analog signal. The analog signal is then fed to the drive, and then the drive interprets that signal and generates motion in the motor. The encoder feedback will go back into the drive, and then you can send either a pulse feedback or an analog signal feedback back to your main controller. Internally in the drive, when in speed control mode, this is what an example of what is actually going on is shown before you. We have our power supply input going to a converter. That converter is then sent to an inverter. The analog speed command is sent directly to the speed adjuster. That speed adjustment information is then sent to a current adjustment. That current adjustment sends information out to the inverter and to the motor. You can see here that there is actually a current monitoring circuit which sends feedback back to the current adjuster. Meanwhile, the encoder is continuously sending information back to the speed adjuster therefore completing a PID loop. Some of the main features of speed control mode is it does have a speed ratio of 1 to 5500 RPM. With analog signals we can go from 30 to 5500 and with digital settings we can go down to 1 RPM up to 5500. An acceleration setting of 5 milliseconds to 10 seconds. Selectable, select speed settings of two analog plus six digital or eight digital settings available. We also have an output which indicates the speed has been set. It's also capable of torque limiting with two analog or plus six digital or eight digital, digital settings available with a TLC output which indicates that the torque limit has been met. We also have stopping mode selectable of retention of stopping positions or servo lock. You can turn that function on or off. Internally for the analog signals, it does have the ability to either hook up an external potentiometer or to send a zero plus or minus 10 volt DC signal. It also has the ability to set eight selectable speeds. And these can all be set digitally via either the MEXE software or via the OPX-2A digital operator. At this time, I'd actually like to showcase a demonstration unit that we have today. On the right side of the board is an NX servo system. We have a 200 watt motor, the motor driver, and an OPX digital operator in the center, an SCX10 controller, and on the left side we have a closed loop AR stepping motor system. Right now I have the motor running and set to the internal potentiometer. So I can simply adjust the speed by dialing up or down this potentiometer. I also have the OPX set up to display output speed. So right now the motor is running at about 2600 RPM. Now we also have the ability to run digital speeds or external analog voltage. My M0, M2, M1, and M2 switches can simply be toggled on to go to different speeds. If I turn the M0 switch on, I default over to external potentiometer. As you can see, it's set at the maximum level. Now, since I have it set to the external potentiometer, I can simply make an adjustment. and lower the speed.
We also have digital settings programmed in. Again, going back to my M0 through M3 inputs, I can sim simply toggle it on and go to a digital speed setting. So right now I have this digital speed setting set at 5 RPM. As you can see, the motor is rotating much slower. Make another adjustment. So now I have my M0 and M1 input on, which would indicate data setting number four. We can see I'm running at 1,000 RPM. And again, this is a digital setting. Now I've defaulted back to the internal potentiometer. Before you is a, a chart of different speed control characteristics compared to the BX Brussels DC product or the BLF Brussels DC product. We can see with the BX, with the analog, we can reach a speed down to 30, up to 3,000 RPM. With the NX, we can actually get down to 10 RPM, up to 5,500 RPM. And with digital settings, we can go from 1 to 5,500 RPM. Both have a speed regulation of plus or minus 0.05%. So overall, out of all of these systems, they're actually quite very... They're all quite pretty good for speed regulation. However, we do have uh, improved speed stability when compared to the BX as far as low end speed fluctuation. So on the chart below, we can see that the flutter of the NX with a with an RMS of about 3% down towards the low end speed and with a peak value of 6%. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at 1-800-468-3982 or email us at techsupport at orientsamotor.com. For more information on the NX series, feel free to browse our other NX product series videos. My name is Grant, and thank you for watching.